Yo, what is going on good people out there in YouTube land? Welcome back to another video here. A riveting gameplay hopefully is going to await us. Uh, let's not beat around the bush here, man. Let's go ahead and hop right into it. Listen, if you watch the team intro on the last video, ain't nothing changed about the offense. So I'm literally not going to hit anything. None of the abilities, none of the players you see them on the screen right here. Now we have some changes on the defensive side of the ball. At the skill positions, nothing actually has changed, right? The corners, the safeties, they stay, they're staying the same. No changes at all. However, we got at the middle linebacker position, zero chill, going towards our zero chill cams, old Ray Nitschke. A big Nitschke, you nit and sit and bro. I mean, this card is pretty damn good, though. If I, if I gotta be honest, if I gotta keep it 100 with you guys, 93 speed, 95 acceleration, 95 block shed at the linebacker position is pretty solid. So hopefully he's not going to get dominated by the guards. He's 6'3", so he's got good height. Hopefully he's going to go up and jump and pick the ball off. You know we got to put Lurker on him because he's a linebacker. We'll get into the abilities here in a second. But uh, this is a good card. He's going to be at the uh, middle linebacker spot. And uh, another card that might actually sneak into the lineup, depending on whether or not we want to run Dollar or we want to run 3-3 Cub, is this Willie Lanier card. Uh, it's not the best card in the world, but uh, it gets Lurker for free and Secure Tackler. I'm going to talk a little bit more about Secure Tackler here in a second. Uh, but yeah, he might sneak into the lineup. And then we've got this Matthew Judon card. Now, this Judon card's pretty good edge rusher. He's not going to be really designed to do that in our defense. We've actually got no outsiders on him. We'll talk a little bit more about that here in a second. But no outsiders for 1 AP, but it's a zero chill card. So he's adding to our zero chill, chill Kims. 91 speed, 91 acceleration, 96 block shit, 99 power move, 92 finesse move. The card looks awesome. Probably not going to do anything on the field. But damn it, it looks good. Damn it, it looks good. Let's come over to the specialist because uh, we've got a couple players hiding in the specialist here. Uh, number one is going to be Cam Jordan. So why am I running Cam Jordan on the team? Uh, well, it's quite simple. There's a card in the game right now, the Quad Father. I'm sure you guys have heard of him, right? So if we happen to run into the Quad Father, I want to try to do my best and negate what he is good at, and that's running the football and running over people, right? So... Uh, we've got inside stuff and no outsiders on Cam Jordan. Uh, it's a total of 2 AP. He's the only card, to my knowledge, that gets no outsiders and inside stuff uh, for 2 AP. So we have him at one of the defensive line positions. And we also have Adrian Wilson. Now, he's replaced Nick Cross. Taylor Rapp has been replaced by Ray Nitschke. Uh, but Adrian Wilson gets secure tackler for 0 AP. So this is a 0 AP secure tackler. The quad father's ability, man, freight train, he's just going to be running through dudes. Hopefully, secure tackler is going to help to negate it. It probably won't, but we'll see what we can do about it. You know what I'm saying, bruh? We'll see what we can do about it. Let's go in depth a little bit more into the defensive abilities, though, because they have changed around a little bit. Um, so, Nitschke, again, he has lurker and secure tackler, so we've got him out on the field, hopefully to negate what quad father is going to be trying to do. We went ahead and took flat zone KO off of Charles Woodson just to allow us some more uh, ability point coverage, if you will. Uh, but he's got pick artist and deep out zone as well as universal coverage. Calvin, pick artist, deep out zone. Peppers, digs, every, uh, everyone, safeties, corner, pick artist, deep out zone KO. You get a pick artist and a deep out. You get a pick artist. Everyone gets pick artist and deep out zone KO. Except for Slay. He doesn't get it. Uh, Tremaine Evans have, has goal line stuff uh, for free. Jeffrey Simmons, he is slid over. He does not have defensive rally anymore. He's slid over. He's actually going to be the defensive tackle, the nose tackle. He's got inside stuff. He's got inside stuff for 1 AP. Judon, as we mentioned, no outsiders. He's going to play the left end position. No outsiders for 1 AP. So hopefully when they try to run outside and inside, we're going to be able to lock him up. Cam Jordan, as we said already, inside stuff and no outsiders. A secure tackler. So Adrian Wilson is going to be sitting right next to Nitschke. Secure Tackler for 0 AP. And then we have Willie and Lanier. Secure Tackler and Lurker. Now, we're going to be coming out in dollar. So, Wilson and Nitschke are going to be on the field with about 7 DBs. Is that actually correct? I don't think it is. 6 DBs, maybe. Not really even sure if that's correct. I think it's 6 DBs. However, if we switch to 3-3 Cub, which we may end up doing, Wilson's going to be at the middle linebacker spot. Lanier's going to be at the outside linebacker. And then Nitschke's going to be at the other outside linebacker. So, we have Secure Tackler and Lurker on Willie Lanier, and Carl 
Banks is not going to play, but he has no outsiders for free. So in the event that he sneaks in the lineup, hopefully he'll be able to do something. Uh, so here's the specialist, Stonehouse, Yosef. They're still punter and kicker. Joseph, come on! Uh, Quez Watkins, it was a free player, so we picked him up. He's got 96 speed. He's going to be our kick and punt returner. Here's the specialist screen. Again, Judon at the left end. And then at the right end, we've got Cam Jordan, Adrian Wilson, and uh, Nitschke, obviously, at the linebackers. Uh, we are running the Jets' offensive playbook. We're going to be running the multiple defense. And then we still have the same strategy items, route tree and the zone. And then here is our visuals. All right, YouTube, we're not messing around today, man. We're going out hard nose, smash mouth, in your face football. We're going to try to bring home a dub ski. Let's freaking get it, son. Oh, we get to see the uh, Panther Unis. A little Viking theme team. Okay. No, I'm the Panthers. <laughs> I love how it gave me the the wrong guy. That was cool. This guy's got like 47 form eight. What? Like Calvin doesn't even jump? Like what? It's just this guy's quick hiking going through like 15 different formations. Like I can't, I have no clue what he's trying to do. And I just like, I cannot run the ball. Yeah, good job. That was that was awesome. That was that was fucking awesome. Great job. My, I got Calvin in the end zone, not jumping on defense, and then I got Kyle Pitts. The ball's literally right there. He's just like going. That's a hot one. That's a hot one. Let's go.
No shot. Thank you, Julius. Oh, no. It's fine. It's fine. I was going to say, man, I, I need someone to play that. Like, someone. Someone has to play that. Possibly he was throwing an interception. I'm not sure, but it is possible. And Willie just... I'm in field goal range. I probably shouldn't have called a timeout that quick. Cool. Jeez, bro. Unfreaking believable. His butt hits out of bounds, but they don't give it to him out of bounds. <laughs> <laughs> that like a gain of one yep 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 Out okay. I guess we just kick the field goal and pray here that we can stop him. Although he's just gonna go down and get it to field goal range, probably with the way that we've been been playing. Yeah, we went down and scored, like, it's just going to come down to if we can get a stop here.
Man, that's how you make adjustments, baby. This dude was just dotting me up and down the field all game. We made some f adjustments, man. Let's go. That one felt good. Oh, that one felt good. I ain't trying to sweat that hard, bro. I mean, it was over. I scored a touchdown there. There was only going to be like six seconds left. It was over. There is no sense in me trying to send pressure there. Because he's just like literally just, he's getting rid of it. I mean, my man knew what he was doing. So what do we do? We put our guys in literally every zone possible. We got the deep third, the deep halves covered, the deep mid for the, for the, for the post. We got the hook curls. We got our curl flats dropping 25, 30 yards. So like a little streak can't get behind the curl flat. And then I'm usering over the middle. I'm proud. Oh, I'm proud of that one.